The second river that we're going to talk about this morning is the, <coughs> sorry, is the river of the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, the glory of God comes upon us. When the rivers of living water flow within you, the glory and the power of God moves with you. And I want to read to you a, a scripture. It comes out of Acts 10, 38. It says, And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, with the Holy Spirit and with power. Amen. Say with me, with power. Then Jesus went around doing good, healing all who, oppre who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. And when I read the scripture, there was an urgency inside of my heart. There was an excitement inside of my heart. You know the kind of excitement when you, when you watch a movie and your favorite hero comes on. The kind of excitement when, when your favorite rugby player gets the ball and is on his way to the polls. That excitement of saying, yes, yes, if it's in his hands, something's going to happen. When I read this, I was like, this is the Jesus that I serve. This is the Holy Spirit that I serve. I, you know what? Sometimes, and, and this is true, right? The Holy Spirit is the comforter. He's the place where you find rest. He's the place where you can find peace for your soul. And, and many times the Bible describes it like in Psalm 23. It's the rivers of rest where there's peace. You go to the, the green meadows where there's peace and rest. And the Holy Spirit is definitely that. But I believe sometimes we forget that the Holy Spirit is also the Holy Spirit of power. Hallelujah. When I think of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's power, I think of a river that cannot be stopped by anything. I think of a flood that flows down, that destroys every foundation, that breaks every oppression. I see a river that cannot be stopped by any situation, any person, or anything. That is the Holy Spirit that I believe in. That is the Holy Spirit that Jesus was anointed with. When He was there, Jesus, when He went down into the water and John the Baptist baptized Him, the Holy Spirit came upon him like a dove. The Lord said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. Thereafter, Jesus went into the desert, secluded himself, went face to face with the Father, spent time with the Father 40 days, 40 nights. But let me tell you, when Jesus exited out of that wilderness and he returned to salvation, there was a shaking in all of his Jesus shook the world where he went. The Bible says he healed the people who were oppressed by the devil. Amen. The power of the Holy Spirit will release you from any oppression, will release you from any foundation, any stronghold that the devil has placed in your life. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. When God comes to work in your life, believe me, he's going to shake your world. When you give the Holy Spirit his rightful place, what do I mean by rightful place? When Holy Spirit says no, you say no. When He says yes, you say yes. That is giving the authority of your life to the Holy Spirit. When you give the Holy Spirit authority over your life, He starts to change things inside of you. He starts to remove the oppressions, the sin and the addictions that rule your life. See, God wants us to be this kind of flood. He wants us to be this kind of Holy Spirit channel to our world that shakes our families. Hallelujah. No more mediocre Christians that just come to church on a Sunday, that just do the bare minimum to get by, but Christians who are on fire, who go out and heal the sick, heal the lame, pray for the broken. Hallelujah, church. Come on, are you excited with me this morning? That is the power of the Holy Spirit, and God wants to fill you with this power. And I, and I read the scripture, and for a moment, I thought again about the pool of Siloam. And I imagined to myself, if this pool was full of cracks, full of holes. If it was full of holes and cracks, it would never fill up to the top. And it's the same with me. If your heart is still broken, if you're still oppressed, if there's still foundations of the enemy inside of you, there will never be place for the Holy Spirit to overflow in your life. And the amazing thing about these rivers that Jesus speaks about, the rivers that flow into us, it is a constant twofold ministry. God starts with your own heart first. He comes and flows inside of you. The Bible says it flows from the seat of heaven where the Lamb is and crystal clear water flows into us. When He flows into you, it starts to fix the things that are wrong inside. 
See, God wants to fix your heart first. God wants to fix your situation first. He wants to change your spiritual nature first. Before you can become the conduit. Before you can become the river of living water to your family, your neighbors, and to the people. But if your pool is full of cracks, if your pool is full of holes, it will never fill up. It will always leak. See, God says it is time. Hallelujah. Inoka. It is time. Right now. Hallelujah. Did you guys get that? It is time right now that God wants to heal your heart here in the start of 2024. He wants to fill you with the living water so that you can be the resemblance of Jesus Christ, so that you can be like Jesus and change your world. Hallelujah. Christians are never focused only on themselves. There needs to get a point where you start getting through your stuff. Hallelujah. With all love and all care, I say that. I don't make it light. I know you have challenges, but you need to move through them hallelujah god needs you to be a healthy pool he needs you to be a good river a river that doesn't dry up hallelujah he needs you your city needs you i said to my cell guys this week um, online when we were, were doing cell i said to them do you know that there are certain people in this world certain people that will only know jesus if you tell them about jesus there are certain people in your family that will only taste the living water. You become a channel. See, the responsibility is upon us to open your heart today. Nothing you can do to fix it by yourself. God says, come and open your heart.